across the nation and here at home, there's been a spike in thefts of catalytic converters with precious metals inside. They are cut off and sold to scrap yards for quick cash. The county legislature partnering today with local law enforcement to try and reduce the thefts. Christian Garzone joins us in studio now with more. Christian. Well, Jack, the Gates Police Department says it takes only 30 to 45 seconds to cut one of these off with a circular saw. Quick cash for sure. The county legislature today saying New York State is behind the curve when it comes to doing something about this and likely won't act for years. So they're making the move. Now, for the average person, this could take thousands of dollars to replace. Police say when one of these is cut off and sold to a scrap yard, there's very little paper trail left and it's hard to catch the crooks. With this legislation, lawmakers want to make it harder for thieves to sell catalytic converters. This legislation will mandate cash payouts of scrap converters are not given until 14 days after it's delivered to a scrap yard, reduce scrap businesses to get a valid ID from people scrapping converters, require scrap yards to obtain documentation proving ownership of vehicles and require any auto shop to give proof that any converter being scrapped is from a vehicle that was serviced by the business. Here's legislator Paul Dondorfer. The real point of this whole thing is to stop that immediate cash payout. So if somebody goes in today with seven catalytic converters, they're not immediately getting handed that cash. So it takes that incentive away from the bad guy going underneath the car because he knows that he's going to be able to pick up a quick buck by doing that. So with that 14-day hold period, that's where we're hoping that it really kind of kind of stops the the uh, the quick cash grab from from the essentially majority of them are, are the drug addicts in the city right now. Now this legislation will also mandate that scrapyards keep records for three years. Jack, back to you. Christian, thank you. And that law is expected to be voted on on September 14th.